I will live for at least another couple days now. I have fun. Ah. Are you too? Are you insinuating that you're too good for food, Nami? I have food. Ah. No. Are you just being generally shitty as you are want to do all the time? I have food. Okay, it's the latter. So I think you have your answer, Greaves. I, hey, I, I am answered. Sal. Yeah. In the grand scope of this campaign, would it behoove me to ever buy uh, to actually try to buy a helicopter and rent a place to store it? I can't tell you if it would be useful or not, but having a helicopter, I can see coming to... in handy in some cases. In, in a couple cases, it would be nice to be able to just leave via helicopter that we own. Yep. All right. Um, it's harder to blend in though. I'm gonna get it. Oh, like, there's yeah. always air traffic, but... <laughs> also, where would we put it? That's why I said rent a place. Like, a helicopter chasing a helicopter. What really happens at that point? Mm -hmm. uh, Black Tar shuts it down with his weird technomancy. And the other helicopter crashes. Yeah, but then when do we where do we go? I don't know. Somewhere. 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 I mean, if you want to spend your money on that, sure. It just seems like it's yeah, really loud spend for money on. I don't know. Exactly. I I don't know your character. I don't know your life. I don't know your life. <laughs> Well, I gotta keep on saving anyways, because the Ares Dragon is cost 351000 So, that's gonna be a while. Oh, I have to buy a new comic. Like Man. Just give me a moment. The tea is ready. Give me a moment for my tea. Meow. The image, so the image I linked on this stream in Discord is not. Is Discord just being shitty for everyone lately? It no. does that sometimes. Yeah, it's especially for linking things. Yeah, it's just yeah. been getting shittier and shittier. I've had problems with it lately. I just took a bite of the sausage. Giggity. It got juice fucking all over my pants. Nice. Like, hot. I'm pretty sure all the juice of this sausage came out and landed directly onto my pajama pants, which I have now taken off because they're covered in fucking sausage juice. I'm sorry, so... your new nickname is now Juicy Pants. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking of Juicy Meat Boy. I uh, was personally thinking. Oh I know Gunch actually has a stupid meaning, but I feel like that sausage just gunched all over my pants. Oh dear. <laughs> What I think I just got. This conversation gun. became vile. It it. I don't see how it could become more vile. I have sausage juice all over my fucking pajama pants, which I want to just take it out. Also, of the in then around your mouth. Sorry, Sal's. Are you are you speaking into the mic again, or are you like across the room? I am holding. Well, no, I was holding it away from me when I just said that. Sorry. Okay. I just wanted to make but, sure you weren't being talked over because nobody could hear you. No, no, I am fine. Okay. Um, In my post gunch life. Um. So one thing that happens in the uh, next two weeks is that you. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yes, that does that does happen within the next two weeks. In reality, in the campaign, it does not. But it could. could. It is in Seattle. <laughs> Let's all go to PAX in game. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a run at PAX. In the yes. campaign. Anyway, it's you their next job. Some swag. It's 
actually not really worth anything. You were disappointed. And you didn't so much steal it as just get, accrue it normally. Uh, we right. don't don't have everyone in run roll 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. John isn't either. We're out of teaspoons! No! I've never heard Sal's more upset. I know. It sounds like life just isn't worth living. I know. It's terribly unfortunate. I'm so fucking mad about that sausage juice. <laughs> it, it, it's gonna ruin my <laughs> haunt you. It's gonna haunt you to the end of days. Can our runners start a hip hop group? Sure. He's a. Uh, Green's gonna wake up in a fucking cold sweat tonight. God, there's I, sausage juice what, everywhere. What's more likely is I'm just gonna put them in the laundry and just do laundry tonight. Because I'm sure it smells fucking atrocious. I just can't smell. Yeah, more than likely. <sighs> I can put my sheets in then, too. You guys, Man. you guys are boring. I'm gonna play Monster Hunter while I wait. <laughs> I hate. I, I thought you said we're boring, not you. I hate that all these fucking. Ah, Green's got jokes. I I got them jokes. I can't believe you're playing Monster Hunter. That's the I, yeah, I, I know, I'm a little surprised too. I can't play. believe I'm playing Monster Hunter either. It's disgusting. What is your actual fucking problem? <laughs> that I'm playing Monster Hunter. Unironically. And besides that. <laughs> the problem at the root of that. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm a sad <laughs> I'm a sad person. Feel. Hopefully ashamed. Sad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh Monocle and Gem and Slugger and Dia and Phoenix and like Phoenix and a few other people were playing it like every night and I'm like, I'm in here talking with you guys and I don't get to join in on the fun. So, no, nope, no fun for you. It's like I uh, hate the oh fucking my God, combat. Suddenly, in that game. so much clearer. Yes, I'm probably really loud now. Are you Actually, fast? no, you're pretty good. All right, Sal, so, can you turn it down a bit? You're cripplingly loud. Oh no, <laughs> cripplingly, cripplingly. Yes, I have joined a gang. Cr crimpingly. You're crunkingly loud. Where are my cashews? I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to I buy... I plan dependent on them. Whether or not I want to buy Northern Wasp. Because it's a one-seater. Hmm. Can, can, we, can we play a small campaign? Not a campaign. A small run. A small something at PAX. Isn't there a small There's something There's already at PAX? a lot of that going on. Yeah. Yeah, why is it never us? Why is it never this group? <laughs> You guys have all these side groups. Well, we're already doing the side thing. Well, I mean, Billy's not going to be there. Yeah, I mean, I'm so. not going to be there. <laughs> Damn. Um, I am Savage. going to be running a one-shot Pathfinder for my Pathfinder group. Yes, that's specific to them. But I'm also planning on running a... Um, like... Sales, this is supposed to be a vacation. <laughs> Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is how he gets his enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah, it gets off. It, that's it's the only off. way he could finish. I can't finish yeah. unless I'm DMing a game. <laughs> oh, I mean, dear. last year when we were playing Betrayal of the House on the Hill, Sal's just like for a moment just went. Uh, uh, uh. Doesn't he always <laughs> do that though? He, yeah, Listen. that's that's classic Sal's. That's, that's just, just how default Sal's. <laughs> I don't understand why I have to call it well, out or be rude about it. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to join one of those games. Any, any one of I don't care which. You want to make a level ten evil character? A any, anyone? No, no. There are Sal's is running. I think one that has pre-made characters, so that people can just be able to join. That's, yes. Yeah, right. that works. That's true. I don't know if everybody, if that's all filled Technically, up. I could GM with up to 12 people with all the pre-mades I made. Um, I don't want to do that, but I could. That would be something. Mm -hmm. Sal, so, now that you've let that out of the bag, it's going to happen. 12 I'm, people are going to I don't it. want to bite into this sausage. I should stab it with a fork. 
Stab that sausage. You should, you should juice it first before you bite it. I just want to Jay? make sure it's not fucking pressurized. All right. Yeah. Billy, what? What do you need for your uh, <laughs> what, your Billy? Drink? What do I need for my what for my drink I making? <clears throat> I specifically need, I believe, a contact with Connections Five. That is either a chemist or a drug dealer. That's the only thing it says I need. It's weird. Mm. I mean, like, I just have a black market dealer. I don't necessarily know if that counts. Mm -mm. No. Sal's are you reading cashews? I was. I have finished. I because he's DMing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I forgot to. Yeah, I forgot to subtract my karma that I spent before for pilot aircraft. Rip you. Um, if you was to take a uh, specialization in drug dealing in negotiation would i be able to act as that contact no no a how would you get a specialization in drug dealing you've never dealt, dealt drugs <laughs> and it takes a week to train that's no <laughs> <laughs> that is something that you'd need, like, uh, there has to be some narrative justification for a specialization like that. Does there? All right. Yes. yes. Are you sure? What if I just buy a fake sim that uh, says I'm a drug dealer? <laughs> that works less than the other thing. <laughs> you could go back and contact uh, Membrane. Sal, it sounds like you have a specific idea for how this should work. Bring membrane with you and tell tell people he's your client. Also, can somebody roll fourteen dice, d six rather? That's a very specific amount of dice. Yes. As it so happens. Oh my God! Donald Trump is the president. Donald Trump is the president of the United Please, States. Please, I, I play games like this to forget the bad things. <laughs> Sorry, it, it just struck me again. Uh, I suspect God. it will continue to do so for like another two years. Yeah. It's sure something. Uh, I can't wait to go to the States. <clears throat> Just ignore all the things burning down. Oh God! Here comes Bernie Sanders with the metal chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great picture, man. I wish that we had a real, a real president. Get Bernie Sanders in the. Primary. I bet you're gonna say you wish that Bernie Sanders cashed in money at the bank to save America. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Bernie Sanders was president. That that yeah. sounds like best case scenario here. Too bad it did happen. Someone's making a hilarious joke about the Seattle fucking needle, or whatever the shit it's called. What are you talking about? Oh, look oh, at the God. <clears throat> was, Trump Nation is alive and well. I was looking down. I wish I didn't stop looking down. <laughs> Uh, yes, they uh, they did that in 2019. 2019 up there. hasn't happened yet. Yep, I should I know. learn gunnery. I, I thought you were going to be hilarious and say in 2023 or something, insinuating mm. that Trump gets reelected. I mean, if I really wanted to be uh, depressing, edgy, I could have said like uh, 2030. That would have been pretty good. Man, God Emperor Trump. Trump would ideally be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> That's you joke, but <laughs> he'd be in his eighties, so yeah, he's already seventy now. He's the oldest president that's I ever know. been elected. Oh uh, yes. yeah, but Hillary Clinton was too old to be elected. Yep. Did somebody say that? I did that? not know he's the oldest one. Yeah, oh, yeah. they. Yep. He's old. If, he beat Reagan. Years. If she were elected, she would have been the second oldest president ever elected. Uh, yes. I want to say after Reagan. You said Reagan. You just said Reagan. Never mind. To be fair, 
Sanders would have been the oldest uh, yeah. president elected, and he would have been older than Trump. Yep. What so is he? What, have, he's uh, he's Joe seventy-three, Biden. right? Yes. And Joe Biden's seventy-four, right? Now. Uh, Bob Dole was seventy-three when he ran. Bob Dole. Yeah. Bob Dole yeah. doesn't need this. Yes. Bob Dole doesn't Bob need Dole. this. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Joe Bags didn't run. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> Every time Bob Dole comes up, thinks about that episode of The Simpsons. Yep. <laughs> Bob Dole likes to hear Bob Dole talk about Bob Dole. <laughs> um, to rank up at a skill, it's two times the skill rating, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. If it's going from the to, uh, from one to the next rank. I, okay. I googled Bob Dole. The second uh, auto autofill was The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> It's really a funny. It's a funny bit. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, he says that when he's being abducted by aliens." Yep. Out of bed. Bob Dole doesn't need oh, this. Bob Dole doesn't need so, this. to go to rank two of uh, gunnery, would that be six comma or eight? What? What is your current rank? Zero. And rank two would be six. Yes. Okay. Well, That's then it. I'm. Gonna go to rank two of uh, gunnery. Gunnery sergeant. I have exactly six karma. There's a lot to like about that one episode of this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and only that. Gunnery episode. is agility. Okay, cool. Damn you. Damn you, whoever whoever is putting the things of Trump's on the stuff. Please it stop. It's so back depressing. God. I was, just, I, I was like, mm, that's what that makes me think of. I see it, and I think I think of uh, the second Back to the Future movie, where, yeah. where it changed yeah, yeah. everything, and then, I, and then I realized we actually currently live in the second Back to the Future movie. Yeah. We, are in the, uh, we are in the darkest future. Yeah. We are in the darkest timeline, rather. Some, just some wait butthead for, uh... left the almanac in the, in the DeLorean. <laughs> Fucking butthead. <laughs> Don't worry, Doc and Marty will fix it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, no, you know what? They won't, because when they leave that timeline, nothing changes for those people. They just get on the right timeline. They leave those people behind in the bad room. We're stuck here. That is, that, is Shut up now. that is technically accurate, yeah. Oh, uh, this is getting really heavy. <laughs> That's not word again. <laughs> Can we please play Shadowrun? <laughs> Can we go back to the future themed Shadowrun section? Wait, yeah, um, you find a DeLorean. I'm up for that. Uh, I I'm gonna how what what's the equivalent of the phone book in here? Also, Doc, but stop writing Trump on everything. That is not me. I don't have that good of handwriting. That there's no way. There's no. Well, no. I guess it could be Billy. I'm. A, it, it's, it's, no. Are you gonna say there's no way, it's Billy? I said I was gonna say there's no way. That's I'd not. I say Greece. there's like a sixty percent chance it's Billy. <laughs> one of those isn't Billy. Look how thin one of them is. He could change. I I haven't written a goddamn thing on this. One of those is not. Well, no, I guess the it's key usually is usually either same. Jake or Billy. Uh, Billy. It's probably Billy. I drew the McDonald's sign. That's all I've drawn on this. I, I drew the Pizza Hut sign that you can't tell is a Pizza Hut. Sign. <laughs> all right. It, it looks a like a red brown right. hat. I can at least fix this future. I thought someone was really <laughs> no, into <Paul> <laughs> Oh, Pizza Hut. Sounds bring it back. It's the P building. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, Donald Trump uh, made that too. Oh, uh, now, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it's funny because he likes water sports. Um, <laughs> it's very funny. Of course, this is going to be recorded and put on the internet. So That's when why. he. I don't uh, well, no, I mean. I'll see you all in the camps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The squads roll by. <laughs> I'm going to hear a knock on my door and it's just going to be like, Nazis! <laughs> Friendly Hello, neighbor. it's the Gestapo. I like the, I like the impression that they, they knock on the door all campy. Don't, yep. don't worry, they're allergic to That's fists. That's from a uh, Wise Kids You Know sketch, I think, actually. <clears throat> um... That's a good sketch group. Yeah. It was in the year 2000 and whatever 
the Nazis XX. have uh, war is beginning. Uh, no, the, the Nazis <laughs> have succeeded in conquering uh, the world, the United States. But this time, instead of going after the Jews, they went after jerks. And that was sort of the premise. It was just sort of, it was very funny. Actually. Like, like just assholes or like a bunch of Steve yes. Martins. And there's a, uh, and the sketch is about a guy who's harboring an asshole in his, in his house. Oh, for some reason. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Please stop, Billy, you piece of garbage. Um, so yeah, Sal's. I went to rank two in gunnery for now. Um, I'm gonna wipe you off keep the on, face of the planet. I'll probably keep on doing that, so eventually I'll be able to use silly ass heavy weapons and vehicle based weapons. Yes. I actually already will have a decent chance of doing them because I have uh. 10 dice on that. Yes, you can already do them very well. I have Fig Newtons. Who wants one? In theory. Fig Newtons are gross. <laughs> You're gross. Excuse me. Fig Newtons are okay. Everyone, I, I, everyone I say that to is either, yeah, sure, or, oh, God, how could you eat those things? Fig I mean, they're okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't want a Fig Newton. But I, I respect you eating them. I don't love Fig Newtons. This is probably the first, second time I've bought them in like 10 years. Alright, good. God, I wish I bought some candy. Can someone roll 14 dice? No. I mean, yes, I could. Greater than 6? Yeah. Greater than 5? Greater than 4? Yeah. Is yeah, isn't it greater than 4? Yeah, you want, I mean, five you is greater than four. What's happening? Whoops. Well, you got one success, Billy. Get fucked. <laughs> More than you'll ever see in your life. Damn. All right, cool. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I actually well, I mean, did actually... roll the 14d6 greater than five, so. Yes, I mean. You succeeded get, against can... the six successes? Yeah, I rolled it earlier. Good. Got nine successes. Wow. That's how I do. So you did. I get it. Express order. Anyway. Indeed. During the two weeks, get a missive. <gasps> dismissive. I dismiss the. I dismiss the missive. <laughs> a dismissive missive. It just says, "I'm very disappointed in you, boys." It is from one Mr. Maxwell Borders. Who you name's familiar? Who is he? Yeah. Is he the is he the art, art guy? No. You wish he was the art guy. This is the massively obese troll that runs the fungeon. Oh Ooh. god. Oh lord. I didn't want to have be it... contacting us. Yeah, I didn't want to have anything to do with that place to begin with. I'm now much more curious and dismissive. Mm. Let's dismiss this missive. I, I mean, the we pro it is likely we will dismiss the missive, but I would at least like to see what is on this missive. Maxwell Borders missive. is... Maxwell without borders. Wondering how well your quest after Dr. Thurman is going. And he would like to set up a meeting to discuss the good doctor. Trap. I really trust him. Trap. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Th this feels the like a trap. The meeting can be in a place of your choosing, at a time of your choosing, and he'll just show up alone. That is incredibly surprising. 
Like this also, guy, this guy's a big is, shot, right? That is sick. He's like very risky pretty wealthy, though. yes. He's very, very wealthy. Why would he be taking this much risk? He's incredibly fat he's and wealthy. wealthy. Yes. And I mean, also you suspect he might be lying about the being totally alone thing. Well, of course, but still, letting us choose the place. If he's if he's not entire, he's not going to be entirely alone. Blah blah. Um, but it should be a public place. A public, but not public place. All, how about Olive Garden? Oh God! God damn it! I forgot about Olive Garden. <laughs> how about Olive Garden? Yeah. Uh, what about Applebee's? Do you think we're fucking I also made of money? Forgot about here? Applebee's. <laughs> you think I got enough money to be thrown around at places, highfalutin places like Applebee's? What about Denny's? All right, let's let's let's, let's get a be serious. For a second. Let's be serious for a second. Waffle House. IHOP is the most affordable. Everybody I likes have... Waffle House, right? God damn it! We're not going to get food. These are all good meeting places. Not to talk about probably what he wants to talk about. Taco Bell. Well, I don't know. Have you seen him? He probably. Well, what you think we're gonna go into like a dark alley? <laughs> Have you somewhere? seen him? I don't think he's. I don't think he's uh, above <laughs> whatever place we go to eat. Uh, that was terrible. Also, if we go to Denny's, no one gives a shit there. <laughs> like there is. I feel no Denny's way. also no longer exists. I feel like oh, shit. Man. Okay, let's go to future Denny's. I feel like <laughs> shit is all anyone gives at Denny's. We uh, can go to quite a high end restaurant <laughs> where we can get a private table. Don't, what? Don't they? Why would we do that? Don't they still have Denny's like overseas? Because we have class. Do we? Do we? <laughs> you could have fucking fooled me. That was a, that was a good one. I just dress like this. I do have uh, I do have a nice dress. It would give you an excuse to use it. I do have two nice dresses. I also have a nice dress. I just have that's one. My vote. I you, just have one. We that's find a really high-end nice. restaurant. Everyone here has a sin. I no, I don't. A fake sin. Yeah, I got a fake one. Does anybody have a? Does it, I want to know what rating everyone else's sin is at. I have four, I believe. Okay, so mine is. It depends on who I go as. Minus four. How many sins do you have, you slut? I have two. One for male me and one for female me. Okay. Oh, I, I have a rating for a sin. Go as female you. <laughs> no, he doesn't know female me. You'd just be more confused. Even, even better. Even better. <laughs> Say this. Zag on him. <laughs> <laughs> keep, uh, keep, keep them guessing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I really want to go that route. You, you've seen him. Everyone was there for the fungin, right? Hey, if I have to, why can't you? You don't need to suck up to him. You don't need to suck up to him either. You just need to suck I thought him. That's it would be helpful. That's that's kind of what no. uh, that's kind of what Billy is here for. No. That's that's why he's called. Oh, uh, no, he's called the face, right? Not the head. <laughs> you can do things to faces. <laughs> that's true. No, they don't call it a face. Anyways, <laughs> I wasn't done. They don't call it a face fuck for nothing. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> okay. Um. No, no, we haven't seen enough female Billy. It's not female Billy. So what? What? Uh, it is female Billy. Let's be fair. What are we actually going to be doing there? Like, was he specific in the missive? And I was just—I mean, no, it, he wants to discuss. They, it Dr. had Stone the information and... that I gave you. Yeah, I know. I, I was so much. I was gathering stuff in Monster Hunter. Oh my god. Well, that's too bad. Well, I wasn't necessarily asking you. There's like another few people in here. Nah, I'm taking the moral high ground. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you're a piece of shit. Dogma. No, I'm not. What, what, uh. 
You see who's listening. You know, this takes longer when somebody doesn't just answer the goddamn question. I was trying to wait for you to finish answering the question, or uh, finish asking the question. What exactly is he wanting us to go there for? I don't think he specifically. St he did ask us if uh, how our search for Boros was going. Yeah, I that, and that's Boros? what I saw. I, I believe. Thurman. Thurman. Yeah, sorry. Wrong guy. I wasn't I'm sure. Like, I was like, I kept saying, I'm like, I don't think Boros sounds right. I wasn't sure if I missed something or not, but I didn't think that there was he, anything specific. He just wants to discuss what we've been doing. <laughs> Why is that any God. of his business? Thanks, thanks for that. Why is that any of his business? It's not any of his business, but if he has information, then it could be useful. Right now we're at a dead end, so if he has any information on these weird zombie things because uh, he was the one that gave us the information the last time that we went out after him in exchange for the fungin run wasn't he mm -hmm. he do, he does seem kind of like an information broker i think he has connections i mean if you guys I mean, think it's a good idea i'm not gonna say no i just don't see the point i, I mean i kind of i don't know don't think it's a great idea. I don't either. The guy used to have business ties with a dude. I mean, you don't need to go if you don't want to. I'm, I'm not going to. But here's the thing: if if you if you do go and then you get in trouble, then we do have to go. I mean, we don't I mean, have no. to go. You could just wait outside do. in the car. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be nearby to keep watch on things, but I'm not gonna be inside that wherever we're gonna be. <sighs> I'll go because it's more trouble for me later if I don't. I mean, I'm better off far away, anyways. Yeah, Very I'm. Away. I'm the opposite, so I may as well be there. I mean, it's also hmm. a fancy bring restaurant. Weapons. Yeah, bring I'm not saying bring a weapons. Restaurant. I I am the <laughs> I am the weapon. All right. I, if you're okay with that, not all of us are. Not all of us are the weapon. I know you're not, and that's why I say it's probably better for me to be there. If if any of us are going to do this, I mean, I think we should mostly all go in, but Flicker can stay outside, and that actually gives us. Like I don't expect anything um, to happen. I'm just saying I mean, you also have to be prepared for anything to happen. Expect the unexpected. Yeah. Zag on him. Zag on him. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him guessing. That's Flicker what this guy's doing. Flicker allows us to uh, allows us to also keep like a watch if anything starts to go wrong. He can't see through walls. No, he's going to be outside. He can't see through walls. In the car. We can see inside. He can see outside. He can't see through walls. You're correct. Thank you. Um... Okay, well then let's do that. I'm gonna call and make reservations as soon as possible for supper time at some high-end restaurant. You want me to roll negotiations etiquette? Oh, right. I did pick that up. Yes. Which of those? Etiquette. Etiquette. I think that's the first time I've ever, I'm ever going to roll etiquette. Can I roll etiquette too? You can be helpful if you want, yeah. I've never used it either. I kind of want an opportunity to. Oh god, you don't need my help. <clears throat> Ten successes. Okay. They cancel a reservation in order to give you yours. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You put the moves on them. Very sad anniversary. All in a day's work. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't care. Um, nope. All right, and then I, I specify that it's a reservation for what? One, two, three, four, five. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to be there. I'll be nearby. Did, did he say... Um, did he explicitly say that he was going to come alone, and we're just expecting him not to come entirely alone? He did say he was coming alone, yes. Just getting confirmation from Sal, so I can... Yes, Make he sure said I'm he not... was going to come along. Okay, well then I will book it for five, and anybody that jo joins along can go fuck themselves, because they're not invited. Wait, wait, wait. Anyone who... I, you're you're going to book it for he, five? He, he means, he means I'm going to book it for five people. Other randos. If he brings, like... Oh, okay, um, I see, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um... Although they'll probably just be sitting at other tables. Mm, I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah, but not if uh, not if we need to book a reservation. Like that'd be like really difficult for that to happen. Well, I mean, he is also extremely wealthy. Mm, fair enough. Um. Do you tell him what place? That's I'm yes, probably yes. a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. No. Um. Wait. How how far away is our reservation? Uh, you're the one making the reservation. I mean, I was just asking for like as soon as possible. Oh. I mean, not today. You can make it for tomorrow, actually. Okay. That works. I mean, then it's pretty difficult for him to. Uh, Pretty difficult for him to, um, like, that's pretty rushed, so I don't think he'll have much time to prep. I'm just thinking if I want to uh, bring in a gun or not. I guess that also depends on what this place's rules are on carrying in there. I mean, Jesus. I'm sure you'll be fine. You could just pick up the steak knife and fucking stab a bitch. Yeah, there's would, like a billion places I could hide knives <laughs> on my body. I would be... I would feel better if I had a gun. I'm just gonna bring a knife. I could use a fork. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. I mean, we're in a restaurant. We can... Like, or, yeah. Like, it's it's more of an issue for Black Tar and I who need a weapon. Yeah. I mean, I can bring in two weapons and hand one to Black Tar if shit hits the fan. Shit hit fan. Um, Shit is the fam. I... No, stop. I'm dying. <laughs> Do we know if this is a place that that would check for weapons at the door? I'm not talking. Um, I'm not, not talking. going to pat you down, no. Okay. They're not going to pat me down? All right. Well, then I'll just... I'm going to bring my small pistol. But... Well, no, they don't have to. There's going to be... There are scanners around. This is downtown area. It's okay. like high security. Mm. Do they look for any kind of metal, or is it a specific weapon? Because um, like, I don't know all, all the kind of technology that's in this world. Yeah, it wouldn't just be like a metal detector. It would be like they'd get an image uh, that like you get at the airport. Mm. Okay. That sounds painful. I could... So basically, uh, they would know anything we walked in there with. Probably. Okay. I so, don't think it's worth it. No, I think it's I, pro I think, we'd probably just go in there as is. I think we'll go in like completely unarmed. Stone and Hickok can both grab cutlery <laughs> to, st to stab people. Or I'll, I'll just knock out like a fucking chef and make back. sure make sure to order <laughs> order like five steaks so we just have like a lot of knives on the table yeah stone and hikage can just basically kill people with their bare hands so i think black tar and i can deal without having a weapon which makes me a bit uneasy but yeah. i'll deal yeah i'm not skilled in any kind of weapon like that Alright. Well, that's good for me. Yeah, we'll just oh, my W2 weapons. is ready to be retrieved. Yay, my W2! That is a very boring thing to be excited about. 
I want to get my fucking tabs turns already. Shit. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so we'll send a message. What is the name of this place, Sal? You know futuristic fancy restaurants, don't you? Yep. It's called Olive Garden. No, it's called Tenurians. It's a very avant-garde elf restaurant. Everything is vegetarian. This place sucks. Why do we pick this one? Oh, elf. Did I, did I actually pick that one? You probably did. You're shitty. I mean, if it's an elf restaurant, I don't. I don't really feel like bringing in non-elves would be proper. Hmm? Oh no, it's not for elves. It's just yeah. elf aesthetics. It, yes, it's like they serve what they call elf cuisine, even though it's only been like there's not been ne really nearly enough time for it. Elves to really develop that that much of a distinctive culture beyond what. Uh, so like, they just like bring us like leaves on a plate. Immortal elves say is like elven culture. Um, so this is it's basically uh, recipes from Tir Tangra, but um, that's not really much different than fair that you can you say yes it's good but it's also pretty much entirely vegan. I have an elf question that is not entirely <laughs> on point. That's an interesting way of putting it. I, okay. I feel like I, I was, trying your hardest to not say it's slightly racist. No, 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 no. no. I mean, any if I'm talking about elves, it's going to be racist. But uh, <laughs> if... Okay, so... Since since uh, Shadowrun takes place only like fucking, let's say what, fifty years after all these people suddenly changed and they exist all of a sudden, and people assume that elves live all these hundreds of years longer, and nobody really knows that for sure. Um, yep. I'm curious, what happened if you had like. An old, old, old fucking man back when, like, metahumans became a thing. And then he became an elf. Does... Because there was no elven, dwarven equivalent to glob goblinization. You just had people start being born as elves and dwarves, but people didn't just randomly oh, okay, turn into okay, them. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you didn't... Okay, yeah, okay. Racist. Wait, orcs? No, that was actually a good question. Orcs are par part of uh, goblinization? Yeah, but Greaves is a shit boy. Uh, orcs and trolls, yes. <laughs> and, okay, you said goblinization. Are there goblins, too? Uh, they're, mm. um, um... I want to say that they're a subtype of something. Probably orc. But, uh... I don't remember off the top of my head. It would be in Run Faster. Okay. I will find I, out. Yeah. I don't think there is, but I mean, it could there be. There might wrong. not be. Maybe orcs, and, maybe orcs and, and trolls were the goblins all along. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. No. I mean, orcs and trolls are born orcs and trolls now, though, right? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Okay. Racist. How? I'm an orc. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Are, are you saying orcs can't be racist? Wow. Racist. That's pretty racist. That is exactly what I said. I knew it. Fuck you, frog boy. Racist. Against frogs. Um, Not French people. Well, uh, there's an orc subtype for hobgoblin. What? Yeah, but hog goblins are pretty none. They're not really close to goblins. That's that's the closest. They're one syllable away. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Fair enough. Man, fuck you, Greaves. 
Why? Because you're racist? <laughs> so are you prepared for your meeting with Mr. Maxwell Borders? I guess. Everyone's wearing their fancy shit. Looking pretty. Yeah, I'll bring my one of my classier outfits. Classier knives. Super classy. I'll bring my finest fork. Um. No, you can't take this from me. This is my cutlery. All right. You arrive at the restaurant at the appointed time. There is a sniffing Mater D standing just within as you enter through the uh, doors. The restaurant itself is tastefully appointed in uh, a sort of classical elf modernist fusion and the music is elf pop elf pop playing i got to know what that sounds like no you don't um playing at a manageable level the mater d looks at you over his thin mustache and sniffs and goes can I help you? Reservation for five for Neil White. Ah, yes. Your fifth has already arrived. Perfect. Yes. Let me lead you to the table. <laughs> he takes four menus and leads you deeper into the restaurant. Um, a rear area, a booth that's sort of um, set apart from the rest of the restaurant. There's a little screen of uh, plant life in front of it that sort of blocks vision to it is where he leads you. And seated at it already is the blobular form of Maxwell Borders. Ugh, blobular. Blop. Yeah, that's the part I honed in on. Him, so. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh! You finally made it. Good, I'm glad. Uh, you don't mind, I ordered already for myself. Of course. He, point, I, uh, he says, gesturing to several emptied plates in front of him. God damn. He just finished his appetizers. Yep. can't say that I'm the biggest uh, fan of dandelion food, but uh, you know, your choice. The place is nice. It's got an atmosphere. Not thrilling. But nice. Please sit down. Order something. I'm not going anywhere. I order the elf shit. <laughs> Great. Oh, yes, I'll find a self shit. Excellent choice. <laughs> Ow. Oh, laughing hurts. As yeah. you wish, uh, you are brought back a plate of the finest elf crap. <laughs> it's a very pungent today. <laughs> Gross. It's got a lot of leaves. Can I roll? I, I, I had corn for lunch. Oh, okay. General yep. etiquette to uh, to order the the most <clears throat> hompy pompy food. Oh shit! Sure. Oh sure. <laughs> you want to just order for the table? Yeah. This is way too many dice. You need to get rid of some. Um, you successfully order the most expensive things on the menu. They are all very tasteful, though. And uh, in a little while, you are you soon have a bunch of extremely well arranged. Um, Can I make sure to have ordered um, t 
two meals that require a knife? Like, I imagine this is like a three-fork, two-knife, three-spoon restaurant. What? <laughs> yeah, you know, that spoon that you never use that always sits on the side. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you're always confused about. Yeah, like what's this for? Nobody knows what this is for, but it's here. I think it's, it's for the dessert. dessert. <laughs> I think it's the dessert spoon, but that's it over there. <laughs> I mean, I just do. I I don't want to like not use it and look like an idiot, but I, mean, I don't want to use it on the wrong thing and then still look like an idiot. Oh, that's no, nice. That's the that's... spoon. That's the teaspoon. That's the dessert spoon. <laughs> And then the, the entire time you're just kind of slowly staring at the spoon while everything else goes on around you. Then which, no, which... broken home is enough uh, etiquette confusion in role playing <laughs> for me. Um, the restaurant. I'm trying to think of something non meat that would require a knife. Um. Some weird tofu thing. That you could probably just cut with a fork. Uh, vegan meals require <laughs> a knife. Hey, uh, Sal's, did you catch my chat? On the uh, actual Roll20. I mean, whatever. They can stab someone with a fork. I mean, we don't need steak knives. Ask for like I vegan. Can use a butter knife. You yes. Could, you could get some kind of imitation meat or something that you would need to cut with a knife. I mean, there's probably well, even a knife there already, to be honest. <laughs> oh, can we get like bread? Let's just get bread, like a bread roll that you need to like that they uh, give you, and you need to like spread it. All right. Uh, yes, you order a couple of entire loaves of bread. They do give you a um, bread carving knife. It's not, it's not that it's good not for steak. Yeah, not as good as a steak knife. I mean, there's not really steaks here. It's fine. How the fuck do you know there yeah. are steaks there? This is an elf place. There might be steaks. Elves don't. Elves don't eat steak. We'll see. Or why? I why would you pick this place, no, knowing that we need we need fucking knives? Sal said it's it. really good. It's, it's, this is where I go regularly. Okay, well, let's no. see if the situation even arises where we would need that. I mean, if something goes wrong, I can always go somewhere and shoot people for you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, what do we do while we wait for you to get to somewhere? I don't know. Should I go ahead and start getting somewhere, though, just in case? <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't know if that's a terrible Should I go idea. ahead and just shooting people? Yeah, just start shooting people. Start Don't shooting. wait. <laughs> blap, blap, blap. Anyway. Don't, don't wait on my behalf. All right, now. Well, I, I, I mean, as long as it, as long as it's not an inconvenience in any other way, I don't see any problem in getting ready in position in case something goes wrong. Then you don't have to do it later and be like, "Oh well, we took like a lot of damage in the meantime." Or okay. innocent people died. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll go. Uh, Shoot some people. Get somewhere then. Where do you want to get? I don't know. Like, what's what is the building like? First off, like that they're, they're in. Well, it's in the downtown area. It's in a one of the shorter buildings, so it's only about ten stories tall. Okay. Um, on the bottom floor. Uh, there are a the front of the uh, restaurant is just a bunch of plate glass glass windows looking out onto the street. Okay. But if you put your angle too high, um, like if you're on top of the roof of the building across, you won't be able to see into the restaurant. Right. So the building then, will be in the way. Guess I'll uh. Whatever place I can get to that would let me just get an eye on things. Well, you said that you're in the van, right? Yeah. That would be pretty much a good spot. Well, to, to shoot them? Or to shoot things? Just being across the street, that's the best angle that you can really get. Alright. 
And the other thing is, you do kind of. This is a high security area. Get just like shenanigans zing around, getting onto like the first, uh, the second floor of the building across the street, which would be the only other place to really get an angle. Um, into the restaurant, uh, it, it there's like offices there. People are still in them. So you get some interesting questions. Questions like, who are you? And what are you doing here? And why are you aiming that gun at me? <laughs> that last question is usually implied. Um, but yes, you can monitor them from the van from across the street um, with your sniper rifle at the ready, but hidden. You shouldn't be accosted by like the night errant guys that are occasionally just sort of walking past. Okay. They're not really checking inside the cars, they're just sort of watching around. All right, One well, says then. hello, citizen, to you. I say hey. How are you this fine evening? Oh, you know. Keep up the good work. And then he walks away. Thanks. I order Hikage a cream spinach sun-dried tomato vegan pizza. And obviously we eat pizza with a knife and fork here. So. And for some reason chopsticks. Very clever, clever man. They give you a knife. <laughs> there you go. Now we have a knife that can actually knife things. Mr. Borders actually does look at the knife as it's given to Hikage, but doesn't say anything. So, so I'll um, quick throw it at him before he suspects anything. <laughs> Oh no! It's clear that he uh, that he realizes what just happened, and um, his face briefly has a look of uh, something. Uh, gives an expression of well, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> she licks some of the sauce off of the blade. I don't think that's proper behavior for a restaurant like this. <laughs> <laughs> she has a charisma too. She doesn't care. So I'm sure you're wondering why I to meet you. Yeah, it crossed my mind. Well, <laughs> it's because I wanted to discuss our mutual friend, Doctor Thurman. Mm -hmm. Have you? Uh, had any luck tracking him down lately? Mm, it's been a mix of luck and intriguing um, scenarios that we've gone through. I mean, after I gave you his actual location of his new offices in, Dal in the Daltec building, I would have thought that you would have been able to, uh, you know, do your thing, have your way with him. I thought that too. Just putting that out there. What issue did we, you run into? Um, we had a lot of night errands put on us. There was um, no, nobody's like within earshot, right? I don't need to like no. disguise what I'm saying. Mm -mm. All right. Um, we had to. Um, track him down some other way. He's in a sort of hiding, leading his private security force kind of wherever he well pleases. Hmm. Beneath the Daltec building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Um, uh, out of character. The zombie place was not beneath the Daltec building, was it? That's also not where uh, Dr. Thurman was hiding. And yeah, that's but... not where it was, no. Okay. They're unrelated. The place was a uh, Daltec um, run facility. Uh, 
but Ezra Klein led you there on a completely different hunch, not going after Dr. Thurman, because Ezra Klein doesn't really care about Dr. Thurman. Um, How rude of him. Oh, he does care, but he's not his, like, he, he's happy to leave that up to you. Um, but, uh, no, uh, you went to the Fungin to get information on Dr. Thurman, and Maxwell Borders told you where Dr. Thurman was, which happened to be in a secret sub-basement of the Belltech Securities uh, offices. Sub-basement. Do we, we think they've moved, right? Because the only passage that we found in there was found like blocked off afterwards or abandoned, blocked off or abandoned. It wasn't we, abandoned. It was blocked off and there were still active security systems down there. Mm -hmm. Like pretty active, which is why you got uh, turned away. Yeah. And you have not yet tried to re-examine it. Why are you curious about our situation? Yeah. You getting an update on our situation doesn't really seem worthy of going out of your way to talk to us. Well, I was thinking about making you guys a deal. <sighs> you got my attention? Yes. Um, so, you guys are trying to get to Dr. Thurman. You're having difficulty. You haven't told me why. I don't really care. You're having difficulty getting into the actual Daltec building. I have my own reasons to desire Dr. Thurman. He happened to be very good at what he did when he was still providing me services. And after some time without those services, I'm starting to miss them. He is very talented. So I think we can help each other. If I can help you get into the Daltec building, you can get Thurman, grab him, have your way with him for a period Get whatever information or whatever you want out of him, out of him, and then leave him into the auspices of the fungin. Out of character real quick. Who was it that was going to be paying us for this job the first time? Mary. That's what I thought. What kind of way are you getting us in there? Well, the security systems that you described, I'm actually quite familiar with. Um, I turn them off. Briefly, long enough for you to actually get inside the building. You'd probably have to shoot your way out. Hmm. Hmm. Getting past the security does make things easier. This is, this is out of character. Surprised. There's nothing else you want besides this. Well... Oh, and now we're getting into it? Yes, that was proposition number one. Proposition number two is that Shadowrunners running the fungin makes a lot of money for both people involved. And, you know, if you were to do it again... I'm not. You could make it worth your while. I'm not. Why not? So, you, what do we get in exchange of doing the fungin this time? Hmm? Other yeah. than the money. Uh, the money. Lots I'm of good. money. No. 
No, nope. you get a, a bunch of money. I, I, you, you make the money. I make the money. I listen, give you a part of the money. Listen, I agreed to do it last time for part of one of our one of one of my fellow runners' cuts of what I thought was uh, the money from that job when uh, it was disputed that it was for the money from the Thurman job. We didn't even know that uh, it was... Let me finish. I'm not talking yeah. to you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm I know you I know you you don't know what what I'm saying is I still haven't gotten that money. I don't care about whatever money you're going to give me from the fungin. I'm not doing it again. I didn't want to do it the first time. I don't want to do it this time. I'm not going to do it again. I don't speak for everyone else here, but I won't be there. That's very disappointing. And the rest of you are unanimous in this? Yeah. She's out, I'm out. I haven't seen Mr. I haven't Picard. seen any benefit from last time. So other than the ton of money. That we just I, lost I didn't I didn't want that money. <laughs> it's good money. It is Pay good money. Really I'm not I'm not I'm not denying that. I'm not hurt because of it, but I'm still plenty fine on money from the last one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need the money. Yeah, yeah, mage user. Well that's disappointing. I'll have to find alternate sources of entertainment then. I'm well, sure you can fine. trick some shadow runners into doing the fun. Again. Here. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> I mean we weren't really tricked in doing it. We knew what we were getting ourselves into. I feel like Maybe I was on Friday it could start like a shadow runner fight club. Mm. I can't imagine that lasting very long. Yeah. I imagine people would die and then Maybe just a regular fight club. <laughs> I could bill it as shadow runners, but not actually have actual shadow runners. They'll just dress up hobos in funny clothes. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, that's the best part. I am a genius. <laughs> hmm. So back to the first proposition. Yeah, uh, yeah that way. You take down the security system. Yep. We give you Dr. Thurman once we're done with him. Yep. To both of those questions. I, I it, is it okay if I discuss something with uh with my um associates here for just a second? Well, I'm not going anywhere, so you're going to have to go somewhere else. No, no, no. That's fine. We'll all stay here. Uh, I'm assuming oh, yeah. I'm sitting that's sitting true. next to Kismet, which is doing the one doing all the talking, so that's who I'm going to By all means, about. have a private text chat with your eyeballs. I'm going to turn... To your iPhone, what's it? I'm going to I'm gonna turn to the side, and I'm going to I'm gonna talk to Kismet real quick. Uh... Did did Mary actually need him for anything like permanently, like where we couldn't Death. give him up afterwards? Death is pretty permanent. We're gonna we're gonna kill Doctor Thurman and then we'll be done with him. Yeah, but did she want him dead before he was given away with a chance to escape or whatever? Like, didn't he have to be dead before the job with her was done? Yeah. Yeah, Mary is paying us to kill Dr. Thurman. I don't think she's going to pay us to get information out of him and then I don't even see what information so why we, are we, going we really to want on him. Get a hold of him and take the chance that he doesn't end up dying by turning him over to this guy. We're not turning him over to this guy. Alive. He wants him dead. No, he, he wants, wants, he wants him alive. Okay, so then... No, he wants are, him alive. So we're then not... Are, we're, he, but the deal I just made to him was, I'm going to give you Dr. Thurman once we are done with him. God, you are such a fucking snake in the grass, I swear to God. That's mm -hmm. how I do. Get it in writing, because he ain't going to... He's not going to be happy with us, but I don't care about him. I mean, this is a verbal agreement. He can back out on it. You say yes. it like it's some kind of contract. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to stick to it. No. I mean, we're not getting paid for this. His part of the job is done as soon as we get in there. 
I guess that's... He already, he, already, he already said that we need to fight our way out. We're going to need to fight our way out regardless. So you're saying we get paid before we bring him Thurman? We don't bring him Thurman. You said Thurman was going to be dead, and, and he, he didn't have to get Thurman alive. I mean, technically, we could give him his body if we want to be technical. <laughs> I figured that's what you wanted to be. You like to be technical. We could be technical. I mean... That I'm seems like an unnecessary point. danger. I, okay. Yeah, I mean, I can... So when do we get paid for this? We get paid for Mary. Afterwards. Yes, so what are we still doing discussing this with this guy if we're not actually going to do anything for him? He's He's, take he wants us to bars. do something right now. Yeah, yeah he wants us so to, he wants us when do we get paid for the thing that he wants us to do? We don't. He doesn't. We aren't asked us. about that. Maybe he does. Oh, I mean, if he pays us, all the better. Okay. I well, thought his part of the, I thought his part of the bargain was, we were going to, uh, he was going to take down the security system. And if he takes down the security system, he, the do, the job is done before he even know. Like, like, his part of the bargain is given, before we even need to hand in anything. Let's see if I know. I know this might be a little greedy. Let's see if we can get something out of it, in addition to him just helping us. Like you're already fucking us over, like with this guy by, by telling him, yeah, we'll do it for you, just to get you know, just to use you. Why not get money out of it too? Mm -hmm. No reason not to ask. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if I, I mean, if it's I mean, if it's too much trouble to get it up front, or even half of it up front, then don't bother. But I feel like this is the mo of Shadowrunners anyway. Why not try? Okay, it also makes our makes this a bit more believable. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm I mean. Nothing is not believable. So yeah, go for it. Give that a try. Let's see if we can't get paid. Uh, yeah, fat troll. This is, um, who is this? Uh, Maxwell Borders. Borders. So, Mr. Borders, we've come to an agreement. Mm hmm. Um, we'll give you Dr. Thurman. Good. Um, but, well, in exchange for you taking down the security system. But we also want monetary compensation. At what? least. I'm at, helping you. At least half yes, up front. And then we're helping you. And I'd say that we're helping you more than you're helping us. And that's why we want monetary conversation. Really? You're going to is... get to Dr. Thurman without my help? I mean, we could. Yeah, you could. You could have we done would... it when I first gave you the information. You've had, like, over a month, and you haven't done anything. I think that you can't get in. Or that if you could get in, it wouldn't it would be so dangerous as to be not worth your while. Considering how much you wanted to get Dr. Thurman, I assume that these security measures are quite dangerous indeed. I want to be perfectly clear. The danger <laughs> is exactly why we want some of this money up front. I think that's fair. offering you money. I'm giving you every, all the value up front, which is shutting down the security system no. for you to actually get in. And I, 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 think, I think that's... I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. That's great. I mean, but let's not pretend that this isn't for you, too. We're, we're putting ourselves in danger. We haven't yet specifically because it's dangerous. You're not, you're not incorrect. But now you want us to go in there and do it right now. I didn't say right now. I said when you do it. We'll still be on our time frame. So what if what if we never do? Let's say hypothetically, what I if we get never German, do? And uh, you don't get anything. So. Yeah. So the, the. I'd be disappointed. Yes, and we wouldn't get what we want. Neither party is. You're not. You're not. See. You don't have to help him out, Billy. No, but... I mean, I'm being realistic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying, you don't have to You don't have to take his side. This is not going to help us. Well, 
Look, we can get in there without needing, without you bypassing the system. It just takes our Technomancer time. Time and, and nosebleed. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. I mean... I, sh I shrug. Given, given enough time, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. But... Your assistance just speeds up the process. And I'm patient. So I want money. I too want to negotiate. I can do that. Uh, this is not the first time meeting him, so I don't get. Can I do that too, since I was trying to do the same thing? Yeah, sure. Be helpful. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm wearing the dress. Uh, oh. shit. I mean, I'm always wearing my suit, so I didn't need to take that. Into I, I forget. Dress, you just I get, forget how you just to get add... a plus one. Okay. Just when just click the negotiate button, and then when it. But asks I also you for I also put a number in mod. Which yeah, I... that just affects your limit. Don't worry about that. I don't think you're gonna hit your limit. If you do, fantastic. Yeah, but don't I want it in there anyway, just in case? Yeah, sure. Plus two, and then plus one. Nine successes. Okay. Fine. I can afford some money. <laughs> Who can afford money? Money. I can do money. Uh, yeah. 30,000. Each. No. You get six thousand each. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Six thousand. I'm, I'm gonna quickly. I'm gonna quickly, uh, just quietly turn to Kismet and say, "I think this is more than, uh, <laughs> more than, more than we should already be getting. Maybe we should just stick with this. We're not doing what he wants. We should. We should just take what we got." I'll take it. Uh, out, out loud, you know, fine. Thirty thousand is enough. This pleases me. Yeah. So, uh, long, you just name the uh, date and uh, the time that you want to actually do this, and at that time, Deltec's lower security systems will be. No longer operational. Now, if you excuse me, I have finished. So I am going to go home. I have finished my elf shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so he gets up. And he slides out of the booth. Uh, after some effort. Oozes out of the booth. <laughs> Stands up. Looks at the table, grabs the uh, bread bowl, and waddles away. Uh. You, know, <laughs> you know, bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Yeah, I know. Who's fat? <laughs> Wait, did you actually say that to him? No, no, <laughs> no. I thought you were giving like as like he, as he was walking away, you just gave him a little quip. No. <laughs> Fuck like, no. Geez, that's something. Hmm. All right. Well, so I finish up my off shit. Oh, good. Elf shit. I don't eat a fucking thing because everything in the rest this restaurant looks disgusting. Sure.
still have hers to go. <sighs> yeah, okay. Hey, it's expensive L shit that I paid for. Okay. No, that's fine. You're right. You can have my shit. It was stuff that specifically had a knife. <laughs> steal the knife. <laughs> steal steal the knife. No. Um, all right. And then I'll pay and we'll leave. Mm hmm The bill. Is... 50,000 new yen. <laughs> no, it's Back actually 400 yeah. new yen. Yeah. All right. Goddamn. I'm glad I didn't go in. Get wrecked. Hey, he said he paid for it. Yep. I didn't pay for shit. You could have gone in and gotten free elf shit. I'm good. <laughs> You're lost. Did, did, who, More uh, elf shit for me. Yeah. Did anybody else like not eat the elf shit? Uh, I, I ate this. I fucking ate it. <laughs> No one's stopping me. It was actually good. I think I picked at it a little bit and just didn't like it. So most of it was not touched, no. All right, well, that was a successful and non-dangerous um, situation. Shall we go and discuss our plans of how to proceed? Yes. Sure. <laughs> All right. Malarkey's later tonight. I mean, yeah. no, we all have our own vehicle, I think. Yeah. I drive away in the van, leaving all of you. Yes. This pleases me. <laughs> I should buy a nice car. I'm happy with my motorcycle. I should buy a helicopter. <laughs> you should buy a helicopter. And put guns on it. You should buy a boat. You return to Malarkey's. A... It's fairly empty today. Malarkey's transforms to a Lursa Mobius. <laughs> what? Nothing, it'll make you mad. <laughs> Is that the boat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I prefer to call it Black Tower Rogue Nation. <laughs> I, <hate you. laughs> I told you. It's a good boat. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta take this shit international. Not but for real. I kind of want to get a helicopter and put like actual heavy weapons on it. That would work until the first cruise missile. Oh well, yeah, but I mean, until that cruise missile, helicopter or the Mobius? Helicopter. Mobius. As I say, cruise missile seems a little much for a helicopter. <laughs> Man, fuck that helicopter! Fire everything! <laughs> Just nuke it. So yeah, well, uh, anything else? I'm I mean, gonna, at... I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> All right. Well, I would <laughs> recommend um, examining. Or discussing how you intend to pursue Thurman now. Okay. And also, uh, Mr. Black Tar, I would suggest that you try pursuing your new contact with perhaps the guy who's like standing behind the bar and seems to know everybody. Hmm. Everybody, you say? 
<laughs> no, maybe not everybody. But he sure knows, sure knows a lot of people. Everybody. Frogman. Hi, Ian. Or hair guy. I hear you know everybody. Well, that's uh, subjectively untrue. I hear you know many helpful people. That is objectively true. <laughs> I am looking for a specific person to be helpful to me. Okay. One that would be able to get pharmaceutical grade supplies for drug creation. Okay. Like heroin. <laughs> Not like heroin. Black tar heroin? Yeah, your name is suddenly making a lot more sense. <sighs> so you need a chemical dealer? Yes. Well, I know this dog. Tell me more. No, I'm kidding. Um, but <laughs> I do know a guy who might know a guy. Who talks about knowing a guy. Closer than I'm. Uh, I'm not though. gonna like just lead you on here. Talk to Caduceus. Oh, that's the not. Dude that is surprising. clean now, oh, okay. but uh, he's a medical professional, and he used to have like this really bad drug problem. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, that's why he's no longer part of uh, what you call it, Doc Wagon. I think oh, how about it. that? Yeah, he's been clean for a while now, but he used to be a pretty bad addict. That's that's good. Well, I guess it's not great, but it's helpful to me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so he can probably hook you up with a supplier of... You need, like, building blocks? That's exactly what I need. Well, if you're getting into the designer drug trade and designing your own drugs, uh, yeah, probably him could help. Perfect. Kismet, you hear that? I heard it. All right, call it Caduceus. It would be helpful. I mean, you probably just wait around. You'll probably show up here in an hour or so. Mm. We have other things to take care of so uh, we can afford to wait all right um we need to borrow the back for a bit is that okay no well we're using it anyways yeah no, it's fine <laughs> i'm lucky <laughs> What are we going to the back for? To talk about what we're doing for uh, Thurman. Dr. Thurman. <sighs> Whoops. Stone just phases through the wall, right through the men's washroom. There we go. Flicker is not privy to this meeting. How do you do the oh, waypoint movements? Again? I was looking in books for things. Uh, just tap space. Yeah, I I held space down. I meant to use uh, uh, alt. Yeah, you have to tap it. Neat. I think you tap it for every corner or whatever you're gonna make. 
for every pivot every angle. Hmm. All right. So assuming that the security systems go down just as planned, which that'd be nice. That'd be nice. I'd like to kind of go in assuming that they don't go down. Wait. I mean, if they don't go down, we just don't go. We need we need to, like, go as soon as, uh, um, as soon as the systems go down. But we also need to figure out where Dr. Thurman is exactly. So we don't need to look around for him while we're in there. Once we know that, we need a way to escape. Escape a place that'll be pretty, pretty hot and heavy. I mean, we could just leave through the sewers again. Kind of leave the way we came. Oh, I was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking all over the map for Flicker. I didn't realize he was under Black Tar. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Back under he goes. <laughs> Very sneaky. Never see Flicker coming. Till he's got you. Oh, damn it. damn it. That's the link. They got a womb bot in the other game. Thank you for taking forever to load, Discord. It's the other way around, but... Well, wait, no, I... Yeah, I know, but... There you go. Alright, fine. No, it's all good. No, it you was... Got it right, you got it right the first time. It's just he didn't... He wasn't playing yet. And then when you typed it again, you banged. Um... All right. How do we figure out where he is in that in that situation? Can we get a blueprint of that building? Probably not, know. due to its clandestine nature. Unless we get on site. Do we know we if he has any kind of like bioware or anything that can be tracked? Mm hmm. I don't remember seeing any of it, and I don't. I doubt it would have like a tracking device on it. Well, not a tracking device so much as something that would be that would leave some kind of a signature in the in the matrix. This is a lot hard, harder without a mage. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who you're talking about, John. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, we're waiting for Caduceus. We could just go ask Caduceus. Hey, we'll pay you a bit of money. Can you go scout out this place? Not that he really lo know what doc Dr. Thurman looks like. No. And I imagine this place would be heavily guarded. Magically, at least. God, we really need a magic user. Mm, they're, not really. They make a they're, huge difference. They're really, really useful, don't get me wrong. but. Yeah. I Okay, I'm sorry, Billy. I didn't mean we literally needed... A magic yeah. user. I, I meant we needed a magic user the same way that I need like a whatever right now. No. Oh. Or a Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Well, 
if we get, we can. I mean, the other option is we just kind of go in there and we look for them. But that's asking for trouble. It's not like we can necessarily go in there loud and just mur That doesn't make us any better than Dr. Thurman. Did you say murder everyone? Yeah, I mean, like, I did say murder everyone, but I wasn't being serious. Well, I was asking because I'm also out. sure that would get all of us killed. <laughs> I don't know, we're pretty good at what we do, and if they're just regular people. Beside the point. Um... We need to find Dr. Thurman. We need a way out. We need to figure out how we're getting in. This is all out of order. Yeah, you're not in that order. I mean, it could be in that order. Just not in the job. That would be weird. I mean, finding out the information, we can figure out in any order we want. D yes, you're right. Doing it. In practice, you don't want to do the escape before you go in. Escape and then find a way in. <laughs> and then don't escape. <laughs> and then put Thurman back. <laughs> and then take him out. Uh, I don't find know. I don't. I, mean, I think. I think asking Caduceus or someone to uh, scout would be a good idea. Especially anyone who has any kind of magical aptitude whatsoever. Just so that they have that perspective on the place when they go there. The problem is that uh... The music stopped. Just Why? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking... Bots are weird with their repeat shenanigans. It's not perfect. I think it should repeat now. It it seems it like it needs does like, on the second time. Yeah. It needs like two videos to like cycle between. It's what it's what it seems. Anyway. Um. Hmm. I mean, unless you got some other idea to talk about in the meantime, like, I feel like Caduceus is the best. Like, a as yeah. recon. Best option I mean, to have. I don't really know what he can do. Like, he can look at the area and kind of describe it. But that's going to be a lot of searching. There's going to be probably magical defenses. Yeah. And, um... And he doesn't really know, like, he wouldn't know what Dr. Thurman looks like. As no, far as I can remember. He doesn't, so, but we also have a lot of, we don't have a lot of options, so. I mean, it, it's a start. I only say it because we're sitting here not, not saying anything else. Like, I, we don't have a whole lot of ideas of what to do here. Okay. Well, then... Ignoring the finding Dr. Thurman part, how do we get into the facility? Do we go in through that sewer again? Probably, yeah. Do we have a map He's... of this place at all? Not really. I don't think we found a... I think, like last time, all we did was send Flicker to scout, I think. And then he was he set off a trip tripwire... Yeah, um, there was like a lit. No, I was caught on a camera. You were caught on a camera, and then we told you to get out of there. Um, and then we started being chased by cops, and then we bumped into um, Ezra Klein. I'm getting out. I hate buildings at this point. Tall buildings is where we get stuck all the time. 
Uh, we didn't have any problem getting down from the tall building the other time. Which other time? The time we fell off. Well, oh, the time we like jumped Hikage, up. Hikage, Hikage, and I fell off. Like the time where we jumped out the window. Yeah. And like paraglided out. Like I don't fucking know. Batman. <laughs> I don't know oh, what you're yeah. talking about. I fucking hit the ground and rolled. She's talking about. Oh, that that, that building. Yeah. I thought you were tar talking about the, like the the hotel job. He didn't really roll. He just saw a hit. Hotel job. Yeah, remember when we first bought the really fancy suits? <laughs> oh right. We had to break the window to get like that tall of a building is what I'm talking about. Paraglide? What? 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 We like, we, like par we like we took the parachutes out of the uh out of the room and we just parachuted out the window. Did we? Yeah. I don't even remember that. I remember the map and I remember fighting there. And I remember the dress spending 1500 I mean, I could try to find some, um, I could try to find some, like, suits that'll allow us, like, just, like, kind of built in to, like, fly out of the building. Yeah, I don't think getting in is going to be the problem. Like, I think there are, there are issues with regards to that, but I think we'll find a way in. It's definitely getting back out that we need, we need to nail down you. Um, yeah. And it absolutely has to be some kind of method that wouldn't immediately be shut down by some kind of like device or teen style security yeah. measure. Or something being done in the Matrix or some kind of EMP thing. Most things are protected versus EMP at this day and age, out of character. Um, it specifies that in some book. I meant used against us. Oh. No, most of our stuff is also protected versus EMP. Um... Anybody else have any ideas? Because we could do like the same thing as before. If we end up on an upper floor, we'd have to like, shut it down. I don't really want to fuck around with their system. How tall too is much. this building? Um, I mean, we're going in through the sewer, so hopefully we stay around ground level. But I think it was like it's like a skyscraper. I think. Are there building. any other skyscrapers around it? I don't know. I mean, we could check it out. Uh. Sounds like there's a lot of places to hide in this building. Do we... Well... What do you mean? Like, what are you getting at? Like, if worse comes to worse, then... Uh, I mean, the least we can do is hide. <laughs> but that also works against us, because there are any number of places that German can be. Yeah. I mean... We're only getting. We're only trying to get out once we have him. Once we have got Thurman. Yeah, I'm just saying because we, like we're discussing, we don't know what is going to happen. It's very possible that the path back into the sewers is cut off at that point. So what's the exit plan then? At that point, we either go out the front or we go up. He, um, out of character. Um, fat troll dude. He told us that, uh, um, 
that Dr. Thurman was in a secret, like, housing area? Like, in, like, in that building? South? Did he die? He was dead. Bleh. I mean, if we need a quick escape, we can always get a helicopter. If you can get a helicopter within the... Oh, wait, that's me. If I could get a helicopter in the... I mean, isn't it only a one-seater? That's the cheap one, yeah. The other ones are more expensive. You could fit somebody else on a one-seater. It would just be kind of dangerous. Exceedingly. Yeah, something that's flying with a rotor, I don't really want to fit... Try to fit five people onto it. Well, I didn't say five people. I, I imagine you would have to do one at a time. Oh. Um, I mean, in, in that case, we could just, like, you could control it remotely. Like, my but. bike is, is a one-seater, and I've had two people on it many times. The Ares Dragon is the next one up for 355000 but it does sure. seat 18 people. I don't think we should buy a helicopter just to do a job that's going to pay us about 100000 <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like a little gyrocopter is something that Jake has wanted for quite a while. This is not the first time he's mentioned it. Well, I can afford the North of Wasp, personally. I'm I'm sorry, I uh, I dozed off. Um... I don't think that would be the worst <laughs> idea. To be perfectly honest, if we needed to like climb, like if we absolutely needed to climb up, break a window, and have one person at a time hop to the the little gyrocopter wasp, whatever the fuck it is, and you take them up to another building or to the ground somewhere else, wherever the fuck. Um, it would be well, time consuming. Sal's. We could but, repel out of it. Um, what we were talking about is using, if we need to be a hasty retreat, uh, would I be able to carry one additional person on a Northrop wasp? Like, I mean, there, there, there are there are there are rules for that, but again, you could just control it remotely. Mm -hmm. Like you you roll the same, controlling remotely or oh, okay. otherwise. All right. So the answer to that question is yes and yes, using either method. Okay. Um, I mean, we could just rappel down. Yeah, but then we'd just be on the ground floor where everyone else is. Okay? Where the people were trying to get away from him. I mean, if if there's an opening, then yeah, that works. But one would assume the, that if we're the going up, flying suits. we could we could pull a uh, we could pull a Frenchman on a high wire between the twin towers and try to walk to another fucking. I don't know. I don't know. have to plan for a few different scenarios. And it doesn't sound like we have a solution for any of them. Except for hopefully we're able to get back into the stores. Hopefully. Sounds I mean, like the only real solution is just shoot our way out. Which he literally said that we would probably have to do. I mean, if we can take the fund on, I'm pretty sure we can take, take some cops. Yeah. Problems I don't really want to just go I on a kill. Yeah, I want to plan for trying to avoid as many deaths as possible, especially if there are people just doing their jobs. Although at the same time, I don't. If we're going in there, I don't know if we should. I don't know if we should use. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we should go non-lethal. Oh, I didn't say anything about going non-lethal. I don't go non-lethal. I don't. I don't non-lethally hack people in half. <laughs> I mean, we can get you a stun baton, but no, no, I'm fine with hacking people who deserve it in half. I just yeah. do they deserve it? If it's in self-defense, then yeah. <laughs> I ain't letting somebody swing at me. These people, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I just don't want to just go on. Like you said, I mean, if we're 
if I know that they're all bad people, then whatever. But... I think most people in his security force are just none the wiser, but... Yeah, that, and it's also a skyscraper who knows who's going to be in it. Yeah. Anyway, if you're if you don't have any qualms against it, I don't. I do I, have I, qualms against I, that. That's what I'm saying. Is is I. Yeah, but most most of the resistance that we go against is going to be assuming Daltex Daltex security. Yeah, assuming. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is I don't know. What I was just saying was we don't know who's going to be who's going to be in the immediate area. One would assume it's going to be bad people, but. Or, or just people who are doing their jobs, and that's kind of a problem, too. Hikaga, you're loaded up on explosives, correct? Because I don't think gas grenades are going to work. Only non-lethal robles. Excluding the knives. Lethal ones. So, when we're talking about repelling, do we have the gear for that? I mean, I can get gear. Repelling gear is going to be dirt simple. I can go get it today if I want it. <clears throat> so how much would it cost to get, like, hang gliders? <laughs> is there a hang glider? <laughs> like, is there a... Quit your whining! Black, black. I don't know, are there any black or I don't know. We could take out a, a couple of windows and then just like, hang glide down somewhere. Or parachute again. Why not parachute? We did it before. Did we? I, you didn't. You weren't there. He says he I mean, yeah, that was before. That was well before you joined. Right. I don't remember it, but he says we did. I'm not saying we did. I just don't remember it. <laughs> Seems like something you can do. Yeah, we had this really awkward time of trying to get out through the windows. Because we hadn't considered the fact that they would have been tempered for the, the high altitudes and the winds and all that bullshit. Right, right. <laughs> um, Honestly, getting out that way wasn't even really planned. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we were just kind of like, how do we get out of here? This room has to have... Uh, like parachutes, right? For people, because like of like what because all skyscrapers past. have parachutes. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm looking through like armors and such. There's not really anything that like allows us to like hang glide away. Why don't skyscrapers have parachutes? Now that I think about it, don't they? I thought they no. did. No. Do you really think they have parachutes? I don't know. No. What? They should. Th yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. They should. I mean, relatively speaking, the the main reason is because, like, you have like not any random joke and just pick up a a parachute, jump out a window, and do it. And be successful. Yeah. Yeah, but you could do that with any, like, safety piece of equipment that is in a building, like, fucking grab a fire extinguisher and spray up and down the halls. Like, any person could be a dick. What about it? What about that idea? I mean, if it worked once, why not? Why not again? Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess we could just bring parachutes in. 
do we? Just... <laughs> Are we? Wait. This is this is just part of the job we haven't touched on yet. Are we killing Thurman there, or are we bringing him somewhere else? I don't see why we couldn't just kill him there. It's a lot simpler. We don't have to cart around a dude. Like really person. Now. Unconscious person, preferably. Now, were you? Were you? Uh, were you? Man, this is out, out of character. This would be so much easier with a mage. That's what and, I was saying earlier. <laughs> A lot of things are easier with a mage. Man. It's not, it's more it's more fun without the mage trying to figure out how the fuck you do it without the mage. It's Jim can do so much shit. Yeah. Um Well then reroll the mage. I mean I, I like my character. I think all of us like our characters. My backup was going to be a mage, and then I just joined another Shadowrun game. And that was... That was my mage. Now I just don't plan on dying. Hopefully. But who knows? Shadowrun. Who knows? Shadowrun. <laughs> I mean, Shadowrun. Shadowrun. Who knows? TM. <sighs> I don't know either. What, what could um, possibly go wrong? But I keep Shadowrun. dozing off. Because I got up really early this morning. God oh, damn it. Maybe you should take a nap. Yeah. I mean, we're just talking about stuff. You can just keep dozing off. Mm. Yeah, we're just uh, trying to figure out how the fuck to do this. I. Right. I we're, we're just still chatting. Like, if we're if there's any specific question, we'll try we'll to scream. ask it. And if and if you're still asleep, <laughs> we'll just call we'll a pizza to your house. Up. Get you a, a pie. pizza party. Good night, Sales. Silver Dark Moon is show up. <laughs> He's the one that does all the talking. We end up killing Sales. I'll be right back. Totally not what happened. He's getting a pizza. <clears throat> so then, okay, going back to that, uh, were you were you sold on the idea of being hyper technical about it and bringing him back the body? Or were you just gonna I mean, leave him? If, if we if we can, I'd like to. Okay, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> just... But like, I, I don't really want to put us at extra risk just for that. Yeah, with with all the all the side planning we're doing on anything that could possibly happen to impede our escape, uh, I think it's going to become even more complicated trying to get his body out of there unless we chop it into pieces and everybody takes some of it. That's the only way I see that. Or, or you, or you, or you put a, you bring an extra parachute and you send a corpse down with a parachute. I don't know how else you do that, unless they just let us walk back into the sewer with the body, which is not going to happen. I mean, we're not gonna walk. We're gonna be running. Well, yes. Hopefully, just take a uh, who's, who's photo the, with your phone. I, I don't know why I'm asking who's the one that's gonna be running with the body because I already know who it's gonna be. <laughs> the only one that can actually carry him. I mean, if if you like, it, yes, it does. Like us being technical about our contract, verbal contract, mind you, um, does depend mostly on if we can get him. I mean, let's like, be let's be fair. Body. There's there's nothing that we're getting from bringing the body back. This is basically just a middle finger to the guy. Yes. I mean, we could just play it another way and say, hey, we failed to get him. That's, he died. that's what I was just thinking. It's it's a lot like, less burning bridges if we just say we didn't get him out. That's a dead. good idea. I like that idea better. Let's throw him out a fucking window. <laughs> it's just I like, mean, and then, and then what we end up doing is we go, well, you don't have to pay us as our punishment, quote-unquote. Oh, no. We're so yeah. punished. I know, we're so punished. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. What, what, if, what if we... What if we did bring an extra parachute? We all took our parachutes. We put one on him after he's already dead. After we shot him 50 <laughs> times in the chest. <laughs> and just push him out. No. Or... And then, wait, 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 wait. 
and we just we just the parachute just doesn't open it we have a parachute malfunction or something he just falls i love the idea of him just landing with his parachute and we look at him and oh man he's been shot <laughs> <laughs> clearly the fall kills this. him though <laughs> damn you fate damn you are we trying to figure out how to con what's his face yes yeah. no but seriously um, just all of us take I mean, a parachute out, and his parachute yeah. didn't open. Yeah, we can just, like, we can rig the parachute to not open. Maybe it's his not fault open. pull the parachute when we said to. I mean, I'm into it. Let's dead. do it. Let's we don't even, hey, do it. we don't I'm even, down. I mean, maybe we should rig it to not open, but we don't even have to do that. He's already dead. You yeah. know what? No, you know what? <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. Rig the parachute not to open, and then that kills him. Yeah. I was like, talking about putting a parachute on the corpse and pushing it out the window, <laughs> but that idea is even better. That requires at least some complicity by him, which I don't expect. I don't know. No. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. No, I, we can, I, just, we can okay. rig the parachute to... So. We can activate the parachute remotely. We don't need him to pull it. Does this guy know oh, your okay. face? We can still attach a... Like, we can still attach this parachute that we bring in that's rigged to not activate properly. Um, 100% doesn't know my face because I barely know the guy. No, 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 I was asking Kismet. <sighs> what do you mean does he know our face? Does he know your face? Yeah, we've met him face to face, haven't we? Oh, he Looks knows like all of our faces. Stuff. I mean, I, you guys have not That's what I'm sure. saying. He knows your Black face. Taran. Oh, Yes, okay. he knows my face. I'm like pointing to Black Tar and, um, and to Flicker. That he doesn't know your face. Yeah, but he, know, the he knows before. he knows Stone, and he knows Hikage, and he knows me, and I mean technically he also knows Membrane. Wait, 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 wait! When did we meet? We never met him. He uh, trapped us in the basement. Remember? Right. Um, okay. Hikage almost okay. died. Okay. Yeah. The the basement with all the PS twos. Yeah. He kidnapped Ian from. Yeah, yeah and then yeah. and then the car and Membrane and yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Dickhead. Um. Oh, Dr. Thurman? Yeah. He's probably the single most evil person you've encountered thus far. After we kill him, can we go to space? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Had a run in space. That was the most out there fucking question. Just. Once we, once we kill him, can we go to space? <laughs> I mean, once we once we kill him, can we go out for Sundays? <laughs> I mean, Sal, no. he's the current big bad of the campaign. <laughs> he's the current big bad of the campaign. Shadow he, run, he in space. it might be done. He's not. No, he's not well, the big I mean, bad. Current. No, no he's, well, he's not even there. Um, he's working is, for someone else, if you remember. I like this yeah, idea. Uh, I like this idea. So. Can as technology be in space? Yeah, let's go to space. Oh. All right, okay. This idea that we we bring it up the parachutes and we uh, we convince him to go out the window with us. How do we fucking do that part? <laughs> no, we the, kill him. Throw him. No, we we kill him. We put the parachute on him. We jump out and we activate his remotely and his malfunctions. And he, and that un, like dead body is gonna hit that pavement. What is what is the point of activating it remotely if it's not activating? I mean, it has to like. I feel like, like it's. It has, it's, to, it I has feel, to do parachutey things. I feel like, like it's easier. Fly out. It's easier just to get him to do it rather than do I, all this. So I feel like I feel like. I mean, if we can just come, like put a parachute on him and say you're coming with us right yeah. now, yeah, and then give him faulty. Give him, have him think Talks that we're just we're just kidnapping him and forcing him to jump out the window with us, and we're going to take him somewhere. When in actuality, he's just coming out the window with us to fall to his death. Yeah, I mean that's that's generally the best way to do. Just have you and have uh, you and Hikage Stone grab him, put the parachute on him, and then be like say, "Hey, you better pull the cord," and then basically throw him out the window. And then we don't, don't have a chance. We don't have. I mean, he comes out the window with us. His his parachute just doesn't open. Exactly. 
Yeah. Um, however, I think it would be super duper funny, like just mentally, if once he hits the floor, then the parachute deploys. <laughs> <laughs> God, that sounds just... like a very important detail. Fucking <laughs> Looney Tunes shit. <laughs> Literal Looney Tunes shit. Just, wham! It's just like the loudest wham, and then, it like makes a big dent in the floor. And then the fucking written on the parachute is Acme Parachutes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm a fan well, of that. That was good. <laughs> um, okay, so so basically we we go in from the sewer, yeah. and we find him. We still have to discuss how to find him because we don't know how to do that. That I mean, Caduceus is. We were talking yeah. about him helping us. What if you ask for directions? You always do the. <laughs> I'm just I'm just laying it out so we have it. Just give me a second. Okay, that that part we need to discuss a little more later, but. <clears throat> um, so we perfectly nice people, but on the side of the road, you, you just stop. But no, you always have to know where you're going. Yes, because it's more professional that way. Yeah, I. We're professionals. You have to we plan these things. People. I don't know what you're talking about. You plan. So we go in through the sewer. We get up in there. We get Thurman, wherever he is. We head up to the top. And once we reach whatever floor we decide to reach. What if he's not up top? No, no, no. Then we still throw him down, break his neck, and the parachute deploys. Then, then we bring him up top. I was assuming he was down near the bottom somewhere. Somewhere yeah, like I never what? get lost when I'm driving. <laughs> I wasn't um, assuming he was near the top. I was assuming he was somewhere near the bottom and we were going to bring him to the top. So. Up top. How do we get, like, if if the heat is on us, it might be easier to go through the sewers. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, the, the plan with the parachutes was one plan. In case we, we were able to do that. How do we deal with him if he... Um, I mean, if push comes to shove and we have no other options, you just kill him on the spot. I mean, if we can't bring the body back, then we can't bring the body back. And then we just make up a lie. Oh, uh, they were shooting at us, and they shot him on accident, and we got away. Oops. You know, we improvise. That seems much much less believable, but... It, it does. That's why we're not going with that plan first. <laughs> that's, not our, that's not our default. That's just if everything goes fucking wrong. I'm just saying that as a scenario. You're saying, what if we have to go back through the sewers? If we have to, I try to carry him and bring him with. Hmm. Because I, I'm apparently our big fucking ape that carries everything. Uh, you're the strong one. <laughs> I prefer it to be higher in the building. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would too. I think we could play it out like we just we we work our way up higher in the building as if we're getting pushed back by security at some point, and then use that as a way to like, oh, they tried to escape at a parachute wise last ditch and Thurman died. I think this is I think this is a good idea. I think you need to buy some parachutes. I think as a backup plan you should buy some uh, rappelling gear too. Okay. Um, I also think explosives wouldn't be a terrible idea. I think we're probably going to have to have just enough to to do two or three different things if if need be. And uh, okay. and then from there all we can do is ask Caduceus to do recon before we go in and try to get as much information as we can. I'm sure there's probably someone else we're not thinking about that could probably give us some information. Maybe Mary or someone. I mean... Or Ian. I don't know. We yeah, could ask Rez, but... Rez is kind of accomplishes the same goal as um, as Black Tar. Black Tar can do about everything. That, yeah, but uh, Rez is also Rez a different can. a different person and might know things that Black Tar doesn't. So I, it wouldn't hurt to ask literally anyone we know. Okay. And what do you plan on asking? 
don't really know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Scruffy knows something. I mean, we could ask... We can ask Rez if he could get us a blueprint of the place. That's something that he can do. I, don't I mean, think unless it, Black Tar wants to do it. I don't think it would hurt to ask Mary since this is also tied to a job she had us she had us on. Yeah. I don't know that she would get us any information, but again, we don't know until we ask. Yeah. All right, this works. Um, when does Caduceus show up, Sal? Sal, he's asleep. <laughs> I, I think it's probably. Yeah, it, it's probably not a terrible place to stop, anyway. What? Hi, what? Sal. I when think does Caduceus show up? <laughs> when does Caduceus show up, Sal? Uh, right now. Hi, Caduceus. Are you sure you don't want to go to bed? Yes, let's, I want to go to bed. Let him go to <laughs> yeah, bed. Yeah, let's let's stop. Right. Let's stop. Shut up, Jake. Shut up, Jake. Shut up, Jake. What? Go to bed, Sal. Go to bed. Nami. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed, Sal. Nami, go to bed. No, you go to bed. Nami, fuck you, you Jake. Jake, go to bed. All of you, no. go to bed. Go to bed. No, we gotta play. Uh, we have to play for dead later. You've been bad. Go to bed. Actually, I should probably nap before we play for dead. Uh, yeah, Monocle isn't up yet. Like that's not uh, gonna be for another four or five hours. You said it was, uh, you said earlier three a.m. Right? I said yeah, I said three. Remember that's two for you. I didn't mean your three. I meant my three, the real three. So then it would be four for four, me. Yeah, four hours from now. Okay, so it's five hours from now. N no, for, for it's eleven. It's eleven twelve for me. Yeah, no, four hours. What? Wait, what? <laughs> he's one hour ahead of you. Do you mean three a.m. Yeah, time now he's fucking. No, okay. It, okay, <laughs> okay, Jake. Five hours from now. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop. So Just five a.m. Six. Six hours. Shut the. That's fuck five a.m. No, five no, hours. No, it's not. It's eleven twelve here, Billy. No. I, Billy, for, you for live me, in like fucking Willy Wonka land. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm just trying to confuse things more. All right, yeah, nice. <laughs> I, I'm glad this is at the end of the recording, Tommy. <laughs> Can you please keep it in? <laughs> it's all being streamed. They're just exporting directly to YouTube. Delightful. <laughs> Disgusting. So... <laughs> So 4 a.m. my time, 3 a.m. your God time. damn it, yes, 4 a.m. Wait, 4 a.m.? Yeah, 4 a.m. If it's 3 a.m., you're on yes, the yes, time. Yes, yes, 4 a.m. Yes, 4 a.m. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. What are you fucking doing? Hold on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drag, drag Toombot into their channel. Done. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't, they're, do, they're doing stuff. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck have, have, it fuck? Start, have it start playing the fucking... Uh, they can do shit on their own time. Have it do the character select music from Super Mario Bros. 2 and drop it in no, there. No, no. Profanity don't fuck loves game, guys. that shit. Don't fuck with their game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, came back. No, no, put him in, I'm going to put him in AFK. I think Tombot or Tombstone uh, put it back in there. Probably. <laughs> he threw it in general. Okay. Assholes. <laughs> Jag. Get Jags. Um, uh, Nami, go to that uh Google Doc thing that's in the chat that Monocle has with us and install all or subscribe to all those things. Yeah, hey, you're not the boss of me. But don't you wanna play fucked up uh Left or Dead? Did you add Mega to that chat too? Yep. I can't what do I need to buy? We're gonna forget this by next session. What do we need to buy? What do you, uh, parachutes. Oh, uh, par parachutes, parachutes, explosives, parachutes, and, and climbing gear. Yeah, parachutes, explosives, and, and rappelling gear. Uh, a rappelling gear. Uh, and you, a helicopter. Any any kind of explosives? I don't even. Are think... you actually buying a helicopter? No. Okay. I don't think grenades, like anything that you can. You can like stick to a wall, something that 
that is specifically like for like shape charges. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have I have those. Okay, we need some of that. Anything that we can I mean that might that might be good for taking out the windows too if need be. Yeah. Well all right. Um I'm I'm gonna go take my nappy now. And you you do my nappy. Oh yeah, I'll I'll be up in a few hours to play with you nappy. Stupid fucker, go to bed. You fucking just as stupid as me, bitch. Go to bed. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, okay, bye. Okay, bye. John, are we blood bowling? I'm playing blood bowl right now. No, oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Blood bowl. Okay, bye.